few months ago, the prospect of this happening was, at best, an outside chance. But in the midst of a pandemic that's brought the global racing industry to near standstill, the Hong Kong Jockey Club beat the odds and pulled together all its resources to ensure its biggest international meetings of the year could go ahead in style and, most importantly, in total safety. From targeted testing and strict social distancing to technological innovation and, most of all, a lot of determination. You can have all the processes, but in the end it comes to depends. Are you as an organization able to pull this off? And people say, if there's one organization in Hong Kong to pull this off, that's the Jockey Club. And we hope that this gives an example how maybe other sports can do this. The week of international races are the result of a year of hard work. As soon as the virus hit the city, the club created what it called a racing bubble to keep the season on track. It's had the buy-in of owners, trainers, jockeys, staff, so a lot of people to really get behind what, what, we, what we've had to do for mitigating measures and it's, um, it's been very wide, uh, but it's been very successful and it's led us to where we are today. The bubble required some big changes, including no spectators for most of the year and thousands of COVID-19 tests for key staff and jockeys. If we still live like normal, I would say it would be very hard to keep the virus-free bubble and we try not to uh, have you know, any contact with too many friends or uh, even family members. If we didn't do that, we definitely won't be able to have the international this year. For the bubble to work, it required commitment from staff across the board and from the organisation itself. I think the club has carried out a lot of good measures, such as uh, providing masks in the critical times and also to allow us to have flexible working arrangement. I think that is very important because we want to keep the work going as well as keeping our staff healthy. The efforts have paid off. The local racing calendar hasn't missed a single meeting all year, making Hong Kong the envy of many in the racing world. We're one of the very few racing jurisdictions that's been able to race all the way through the COVID process. So I think that we've created the model that a lot of people have, uh, have taken uh, heed of and have implemented in their own jurisdictions. The success of that model earned the club the top level trust that was needed to make the international meetings a reality. Prestigious horses arrived from France, Japan, Australia and Singapore and from the famous Irish stables of legendary trainer Aidan O'Brien. He sent over the superstar mare Magical and her heir apparent Mogul and a personal vote of confidence in the jockey club's preparations. I think what they've done is, is, is very responsible um, and, and I don't think they could have made it any easier for anybody and, and at the same time keep, try to keep everybody as healthy and as safe as, as, as they can. I think it's been a credit to them really. To have the foreign horses here is obviously a, a challenge. Uh, but at the same time, it makes the races much more exciting. The quarantine areas for the jockeys and the, and the overseas visitors has probably um, sort of caused the jockey club to move mountains, and yet they still did it. I don't think many places or institutions uh, can do that. The races attracted a host of top international jockeys, including Sunday Times Sportswoman of the Year, Holly Doyle. To ensure they could all arrive safely and with minimal virus risk, the Jockey Club arranged private jets for their transfers. To protect everyone involved in the international meetings, a separate bubble was created for the visiting jockeys based at secluded club accommodation away from the city. Their rooms were deep cleaned and prepared so they could stay there at all times except when riding. I'm having a good spot on the treadmill, thankfully, put in by uh, the Hong Kong Jockey Club. And we're very lucky we've also got a couple of bits of outdoor area, uh, so we're now to have a bit of a sweat out there, and Holly's actually out there right now. An innovative hologram system was set up at their accommodation to bring everyone together virtually for the pre-race ceremonies. And Holly Doyle joins us, not in the studio, but you wouldn't know it. Hey guys, welcome to Hong Kong. Meanwhile, the club's medical team expanded its customised COVID-19 testing programme. Locally, we have included testing for all racing officials and clinical vets. For overseas jockeys and personnel, we test them daily. We also have two teams of chief medical officers taking care of both the local jockeys and the foreign jockeys. Local jockeys, 
At the racetrack, teams carried out weeks of rehearsals to reorganize yeah. race day formalities. So international jockeys on this side, and then local jockeys on the other side. Yeah. They set up multiple social distancing cordons for race days, even between jockeys and trainers. The courses remained closed to the public, and only racehorse owners and club staff were allowed in. Despite the lack of crowds, it didn't dampen the excitement for those working at trackside. There are uh, senior racing fans that have been doing this for years. You know, there are younger racing fans as well, like myself. But if we can't watch races on TV, or if we can't even enjoy this, you know, hobby of ours, and we're stuck in the middle of a pandemic, how boring life could be. There was no shortage of entertainment on the track, with Hong Kong's champion jockey Zach Purton edging out a hard-fought victory in the International Jockeys Championship. There was a standout win for local high-flying favourites Vincent Ho and Golden 60. All of Golden 60's success has come inside the Hong Kong racing bubble, but the rest of the world has certainly taken notice. He enters 2021 ranked among the world's top 10 racehorses. Meanwhile, Japan's top challengers put on a stellar display, helping to lift the spirits after a year of coronavirus challenges. Whoa, congratulations! Atmosphere uh, is not so uh, bright in Japan, so I hope uh, this two win made our Japanese racing fans be happy, and uh, it is most needed to be happy in, under these circumstances. The international meetings have also been a boost for the city's psyche and its economy. Horse racing is the most popular spectator sport in Hong Kong, and the Jockey Club is the city's top taxpayer and one of its biggest employers. It's also one of the world's biggest charitable organizations. We are extremely proud that we could stage such a global international event, which again shows the uniqueness of Hong Kong. It shows the uniqueness of the Jockey Club and it creates value for the community, which I think is extremely important. While the race meetings may have helped to cement Hong Kong's international racing profile, the Jockey Club is taking nothing for granted, and the planning is already beginning for the international races in 2021.